Alrighty guys, so what you have to do to flash this BIOS in order to get it onto your hard drive to get it onto the fucking computer to get it to work with your motherboard, you have to go to MSI.com. Alright, you go into your motherboard, you go to the BIOS, or you'll go to support, you'll go down to where it says BIOS. Click on the newest version of BIOS. Download it. You're going to open up the folder that basically says, uh, you know, whatever the code is, it, it comes up with a code. Um, you're going to open up the folder, open up the other folder, then you're going to see three files. Copy and paste all three files to your C drive, okay? It's going to ask you for administrative, uh, you know, reason, or it's going to tell you you need administrative blah 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 to, in order for it to work. Just click OK, 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 it'll download all three. Then you're going to uh, restart your computer, go into the UEFI. Alright, you're going to go down here, you're going to click on mFlash. In mFlash you're going to get save BIOS or update BIOS. You click on update BIOS and then you get to this point where it's going to start updating and downloading the new BIOS. Thankfully, it fucking worked this time. The other three or four fucking times I've tried this, and excuse my language, I'm just really frustrated, it did not work. Uh, I tried to do it by the USB, the USB was not working whatsoever, it basically has gone to the point of where it started to install the, you know, the, the Windows updates that were causing the driver issue with USB drives. So now, hopefully, it installed the flash of the BIOS, everything will hopefully be working 100%, fingers crossed, I still haven't even updated AMD, uh, you know, the AMD drivers. I haven't done anything yet. I'm just so frustrated with this motherboard. Um, I've never been so angry before in my life. <laughs> oh, and I'm a very patient person. I, I really am a very patient person. I don't mind installing these things. I don't mind doing these things. But this is the one thing that pissed me off more than anything. Just because I had the computer running perfect. I had it running so well. But hopefully with this new driver update, it runs better. I'll post you guys, uh, post another video and update you guys on that. Um, I have to reinstall everything, I, you know, all my games, basically everything. Um, so it's gonna be a bit of a headache tonight. I've, I have like two hours to get all this done. So wish me luck, guys. <laughs> see if it even boots in the windows now because it was giving me a problem before it's just so frustrating I hate having a computer that was working perfectly fine and then having it go to just not working at all it's just beyond frustrating when you when you build such like a beastly computer and it was working perfectly and then all of a sudden it's just like no no I don't feel like working today <laughs> but anyway hopefully I got this figured out hopefully it updated correctly I'm going to install all the drivers get everything working right and I'll update you guys when I get it done have a good one